So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Arts and Crafts. So I know in some places today it's Halloween even though it's November the 1st, so I kind of thought I would do a part for Kirby Roseanne's Medusa. What I've actually decided here, because of the twisted complex tangle of the snakes in there, I've decided I'm just going to do three of the bluish coloured snakes and then the rest I'm going to do pink because that way it won't get con so confusing and we can just keep working on them through the parts. So the third blue snake I've decided is going to be this one here because I was thinking about it and thinking that way then it's sort of almost like a triangle between the snakes and it's sort of interesting and I was thinking just this way it's going to prevent a whole heap of confusion because I still can't work out where certain snake patterns go and that no matter how long I sit here tracing them and all of that. So I thought what I would start with today is um, this bluey, the blue slash green head snake here and then I thought I would um, move on to then we can just work on continuing on and on on and off camera with the pink ones. So this blue one here I actually did off camera, as you'll probably notice. But yeah, so that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to do with this because that way it will prevent confusion and allow me to sort of have some of these bluish green snakes but then it also still, still helps with not getting so confused with where certain snakes go and where others don't go because I can't for the life of me figure them out. And then we can, as I said, keep going with these parts. I may do some parts of the snakes off camera because they take so long to do each one. But also, then we can come back to like these little pattern pieces and the snakes' mouths and tongues and eyes and yeah, continue from there. So. I think it's kind of a good idea <laughs> and I hope you'll enjoy this. There's a few spots I've been sort of correcting a bit where colours come off a little bit but yeah. So yeah, I hope you'll enjoy this and yeah we'll keep going here. So we're going to start with our black PC935 in our Prismacolor pencils and we're going to, as I said, continue this little sneaky here. So I think I can't work out anywhere past here as to where it goes to so I think what I'm pretty much going to do is try and keep this book a bit flatter but I think I'm just going to start from this area here with our shadow area in our black and then sort of move forwards from there so I'm just going to do some lighter bits of black down there because that's mostly in shadow and where is it? up here around so this part here too so these parts as you'll notice are mostly in shadow which is why I'm doing the majority of these with the black and then we'll go over it with our other colors anyway just to work it all in but yeah I think this is going to be the easiest way to prevent confusion and I still think it's going to look good that way and allow us to move forwards faster than me sitting here for hours trying to work out which way a certain snake goes just to do one little part. <laughs> I think it will. I think it'll be much better doing it that way. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this anyway. And yeah, I'm kind of glad that I've got a bit of a solution now rather than still sitting here trying to work out what's what when I can't for the life of me work it out. So yeah it's good. And we're just going to add a bit of our lighter areas around those just to allow for better blending. And we'll come back in with our scales shortly. I'm just going to shift these pencils out of the way for a bit so that we can flip her around a bit. Make it easier for the way we colour it. But yeah, I just think that's the way that I'm going to do it. I saw someone's Instagram post um, that showed it and it looked really good what they'd done. 
but I'm just getting way too confused with these snakes to keep trying to sort out which snake goes where and what goes what and I think that's a bit of my perfectionist nature but thinking about it I think this is the easiest way for me to progress forward and I still think it'll work out doing it this way anyway. Also, don't mind if you can hear the air conditioner in the background, that's because it's 37 degrees today, so... Yeah, we got, we got a hot day today and tomorrow, and... Yeah. <laughs> fun, fun. Summer's coming, even though it's still spring. Actually, summer doesn't start till... Is it November? And yeah, we're getting hot temperatures now, so it's going to be a bad year. Hopefully we won't get too many bushfires. Hopefully we won't. But yeah. And I think the three, three bluey coloured snakes would look nicely anyway because it's odd numbers and yeah, I just... I'm just kind of to the point where I'm sick of trying to work out where these snakes go because that's why I keep putting this piece off so much because I just have no idea which snake goes where and I can spend hours trying to work it out and still not work it out and I'm just getting sick and tired of that so I guess I'm taking a bit of the easy route out a bit but at the same time I feel it's not necessarily going to affect things or look bad by doing them this way anyway would be the case it wouldn't be so confusing if you're using one color but multiple seem to confuse me way too much and just the way Kirby Roseanne's has done the shading and everything it's just like whilst the shading's not a bad thing for me it's just it's making me more confused with where the certain snakes go and some of the bodies seem to go odd bulges in certain directions like maybe they've eaten or something but it's kind of for me it's like I just can't work this out, so. And my eyes are kind of hurting from working it all out, so it's trying to work it all out, so. This one I was able to work out, and so I decided, well, what I'm gonna do from now on is just do this third one with the blue, and then I'm going to just do all the rest with pinks, and that way I'll be a lot happier proceeding going forwards and we'll be able to keep going with this piece because it is one that I have been procrastinating on. As you all know when there's that piece that's kind of stumping you and you just procrastinate and procrastinate and procrastinate rather than doing it. That's what I've been doing here. It is. But we'll get it in the long run. In the end, we shall get it. I hope. and drop the black pencil on everything. But yeah, hopefully it'll all work out okay with what I'm now going to do. Because I was thinking of having the bits of blue snakes all through it, like the majority of pink, but bits of the bluey green snakes, but I just, I couldn't keep going with it kind of like like sitting there for hours just trying to work out the pat the directions as I said it's just I'm over that and I still can't work it out and I've spent ages so it's like well I guess it's to plan B now 
that's how I kind of feel anyway. And we're leaving a bit of that piece open because that's a bit of the belly of the snake just there too. But yeah, bear with me and we'll get there eventually. Because I do like how, I do love how this one's coming out. It's just that the thing that's making me procrastinate is all these snakes and which snake is which snake and which snake goes where and yeah I've now just decided that I'm just going to I guess change it up a bit and work out uh, just this one more blue snake and then just do the rest because that way I don't have to keep trying to work out which snake goes where which kind of makes me happy because yeah <laughs> you do start going a little bonkers spending hours achieving nothing trying to work out where something goes in my opinion at least I do anyway so I'm happy to worked out a way to keep moving forwards with it which is what I want I'm not going to worry about doing the belly right now, but I'll come back to the belly. I'm just going to draw on these scales and then we'll come back to the tummy and all of those. And I may have to sharpen this one to do these details. I think it's pretty sharp, but want a bit of a point because it's a bit too thick for doing these really fine details and I've broken the lead by doing that. Great again. Okay we'll start again with the sharpening it then. Hopefully this one will stay intact. Feels like it will, yes, because that way I can get these fine little scales on the snake's nose. We're not going to fit too much in the way of other colours in there, but I wasn't getting that when I started with it how it was before, which is why I decided to sharpen it. It is. So I'll just try zooming in a bit more on this little part and then we'll zoom it out a bit as we go. So as you I don't know if you can tell but some of the areas I started with are a bit thicker and taking up the, the majority of the space which was not what I wanted which is why I sharpened it just to because now I can get those fine details. If I'd left it where it was, it would have taken up most of these areas with the black, which was not what I wanted because 
I want to be able to put other colours in amongst there. It may not be much, but in the way of other colours due to the space, but it's something and allows me to, I guess, achieve what I'm after with the effect that I'm going for. Does. And I'm just adding in scales where I feel that scales are needed kind of thing as well. Well, I'm pretty much adding scales anywhere I think they should go because of the fact that the scales are kind of all mismatched here. They are. And we've just got to make sure that we don't colour in the eyes when, it, when we get to that part. I'm trying to fit it in a bit with the, the black lines, but it's not all fitting in exactly like I hope, but we're doing our best. See, I went a little thick there, so it took up a lot of the space that I didn't want to take up particularly, but I guess what's done is done. These fine details don't happen nearly as easily when your pencil's not sharp, I've noticed. Trying to follow a bit of Kirby Roseanne's lines, but they're kind of faded and not quite right with some of them in my books, so I'm just adding ones where I think there should be some, and then in other spots I'm sort of following Kirby Roseanne's guide for where the scales should go.
But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this anyway. I certainly am. <laughs> At least I'm enjoying it a lot more now that I don't have to try and work out the way snakes go. Like I've even tried looking at Google images about how people have done the snakes and that with their patterns and haven't had much luck so yeah I was always enjoying it though because I love doing this stuff I really do and I love helping you all out with the colouring stuff I really do I really, really like it. I'm glad that I'm draw taking the time to draw in all these individual scales because I, I reckon it makes it look so good. I just, I love the way it looks with all these individual scales and really feel like the little bit of extra time drawing them in just really helps, I feel anyway. If you don't want to, don't have to, but yeah. I like the differences that I'm getting by doing it. And I'm basically, even in these shadow areas, I'm still drawing the the black area over it just because of the fact that the pattern over it just because of the fact it seems to allow me to keep a better eye on where my scale pattern is going and just allows me to keep it up easier I find because I'm not getting lost with where the scales are and where they aren't and it just allows me to keep going along the area that I want to go with doing the scales. I find. And I'm just going to pause for a minute. I just looked up and I didn't realise it was already 25 minutes into this. So I will see you back again shortly. So hey everyone, I'm back. <laughs> this heat's really getting to me. I don't like it. It's too early. So we're going to continue here with our black PC935 by Prismacolor. And we just want to continue drawing in our little, well, drawing in our scales. I probably could have done a um, second scale there but I didn't so meh. It is what it is. And there go the neighbour's dogs again. I can't win. Seems to me whenever I start a video someone walks past and sets them off. <laughs> I don't see why people would want to be walking in this heat though today. 
Lily's sitting here in a bed snoring. And I think she's woken up when I said that. But yeah. Good day to stay indoors and just do nothing much. <laughs> Although I did do the water, water the pot plants and that this morning so that it that at least have water to make it through the day. And I'll do the same thing tomorrow morning too. I'm just drawing some of those scale widths, even though we're not going to really see them in there. I was just drawing a few to try and get a rough idea of where scales are kind of going at the moment uh, because of the fact that these ones do look a little odd and a little all too much in an even pattern, but it's just kind of awkward sometimes to get a grasp on exactly where you want those scales to go and I hope um, I'm just gonna flip this around this way to continue the rest and hope you yep you can see it that's good but yeah I'm just finding it confusing as to exactly where to put the scales sometimes because I know it's so not necessarily all equal even or whatever they're kind of odd from what I've noticed with snake scales and yet these ones all seem to be ending up fairly equal because they tend to overlap kind of like that one just did but yeah we do the best we can we do we do the best we can and yeah what works works however it comes out it's better than nothing At least I think that anyway. But I'm noticing these snake scales are very sort of, they aren't even. They aren't. They're going very odd here. I don't think I'm doing a very good job with the scales in this part at all. I don't think I am. But, yeah, can only do what we can do. And there we go. There's those scales. And now I just 
just need to look how I've done the blue snake again. So I think I'm going to actually start with the, the head and do our greenish area on the head. Oops, and we're way out of frame. And I'm, I'll see if I can stay zoomed in, but I may zoom out again. Um, yeah, I think that's how I've done it. I think I remember how, but I'm just going to stop for a minute and work out exactly how I did these greens. And I will be back with you shortly once I've worked that out. So, hey everyone, I'm back. So, um, I'm just going to start with this green and depending, I may take a break because I'm starting to feel really drowsy. So, um, I'm going to start with our peacock green PC907 and I'm going to use this for some of the darker areas just around hang on I probably put that in the wrong spot um okay uh because our light source is coming from this direction so whoops I probably put that in the wrong spot uh whoopsie daisy oh well I guess it's done now we'll just adapt the other colours into that spot and we're just going to basically trace over these uh, the lines of where our snake's skin or the colour is because um, this is kind of a shadowy area of the snake So I'm going to do the darker spots there, but then I'm just going to add in a few sort of dark spots over here, but that's kind of going to be it there. And what we want to do is come in with our grass green, and I'm going to do these in little spots because I don't want us to sort of shall we say get confused between which spots which and we want to bring that in over our peacock green because this is kind of a shadow area colors and we're trying to leave a bit of space if we can for our final color I'm almost using a peacock green on the bottom here, so I'm just going to use a bit of that on the bottom of the snake's mouth there. Hopefully this won't blend in too much with her skin colour. Hopefully it won't. And then lastly, what we want to do is bring in our spring green PC913 in those areas. And this one here, I'm just going to adapt and change that to how the other colors look as we go. And I'm just going to pause for a minute and then I'll be back. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to come in now with our grass green and we just want to bring that over the top of the black in these areas. So we're, we're kind of going in with our lighter green -y areas at the moment. Oops, and we just went over one area. Oh well. And we're going to bring this up here, but we're going to just that spot where we did the peacock green, we're just going to pretend that's a normal area and then we're going to bring some of our lighter areas around where these eyes are and we're also going to bring after this we're going to try and leave a bit of a 
a V or a bit of an area where our blue comes in with a snake. We are. Feeling a lot better now. My ankle's been bringing me down again because it's hurting a lot again since I went to I went to this horse thing last week and the horse sort of bumped me a bit and my ankle's been hurting since then and so I haven't been able to do everything that I would like to do but I've just gotten it up on some cushions and that's feeling a bit less sore in that now which is great <laughs> So I'm just going to, with this part, I'm going to try leaving some space, whoops, I probably uh, was going to bring, leave a bit more of a V there, but it is what it is I guess. Oh well we can't see down. Oh. Well, that kind of is the one side under the eye which is where there's green and then there's a little bit of blue down there where we can't see it in the area where we can't see it. So fortunately we haven't, <laughs> we haven't messed up. Okay, next we want to bring in our Spring Green PC913. We want to just bring that sort of on an angle around these. We're trying to leave room for our final colour as well. We are. I like how this is, I like how you kind of got the snake's head like this. I really do. And then lastly we want to come in with our Chartouse PC989. And we just want to bring that colour in over all of these little areas where our lighter light source areas are. So I'm not too worried particularly about blending all of these in, like yes I kind of want to blend them all in but considering there's not a lot of space in these small scales of the snake's head, I kind of just decided to not worry too much about the blending bit in these parts as it seems to be blending in as we colour it anyway a bit. And it kind of just defines the snake scales a bit, a bit more. So there's that part. So hopefully, yeah, you can kind of still see it because of the shadows behind it. 
I was like, I hope you can still see it. <laughs> but from what I can see there, you can. So, now I'm just looking. So, it's China Blue first. So, we're going to come in with our China Blue PC1100. And we're going to bring that in over these areas and we'll try and add in a little bit of shading if we can. If not, we just do the best we can because with these ones it kind of has blended in anyway in the end but yeah we do the best we can if I can I'll do a bit of a lighter blue shadows but I'll see once I've um, gone over these black areas if I do that then after I've gone over these black areas. I will. So we've still got a few other colours to go. Oh whoops, this is the darker part. Oh, whoops, I've messed up again. It's <laughs> uh well I guess that's gonna be mostly darker area there then. Uh that wasn't intentional. It wasn't. But I guess I'll just fade it out then. Because I was intending for part of that to be light, but oh well. We all make mistakes, particularly when we're tired. So I'll just do that with the shadows there because we want to just try and keep this to our, our shadow sort of area. So we're bringing the china blue down over over this black shaded area because I made the mistake before with the head part um, doing all dark in that spot when it was actually meant to be a fair bit of light but I guess it is what it is it'll all work out it will We'll make it work. And then I might try and bring in just a little bit of light if I can into these, but we're not going to. Oops, yeah, it's taking up quite a bit of the space, which is not particularly what we want, but basically just doing one quick little streak in the shape of the scale where it is trying to allow for it to look a bit more natural if we can. See these bigger ones it's much easier to do that with whereas the smaller ones it's not so easy. Keep going with 
we've got shadows here so we're gonna just color in these shadows and then we'll add our our scale to our scale areas around those Just going to add to blue scales in some of these little spots. We might leave these ones here uh, free, but some of these ones here we'll just add some blue to, trying not to fill it completely with the blue, which is not always possible. mess this up by doing all blue in the thing which isn't how it's meant to be um as you know we kind of messed it up here but i was thinking about it like whilst this head is mostly the lighter color i probably could deepen it up but at the same time i'm thinking i'm not going to worry too much about that i'm just gonna leave it as it is i think it'll still work anyway at least i'm hoping I could add some lighter tones in there, but it's still not going to look right because it's different colour tones. So, yeah, I'm just going to do the best with what I've got there. And as I said, I guess mistakes happen and we can only do so much about it when they happen. China blue in over those black areas as I said I would. here underneath the leaf. So we're just bringing a, a china blue in through these areas. to add scales into that bottom area there so I'm just going to come back with our black PC935 and just add in scales I don't know if they'll be right they're all pretty equal but it is what it is and then we want to come back with our china blue PC10 and just add that in add a little bit of light shadow sort of area around those. And 
we're also going to bring in our, well continue with our china blue, not bring in because we are bringing in another one, another colour yet. We do want to, however, add a bit of our china blue around where some of these shadows go with the scales. Um, trying not to fill them all in but I'm not having much luck with that at the minute. I'm not. got to do our little darker area first before doing those bits. It's filling up a lot more than the other ones that I tried to do. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's just me being awkward. <laughs> it could be. Okay, um, I've just got the phone going. I'll just be a minute. So hey everyone, I'm back. So sorry about that. The gardeners came and unfortunately interrupted my recording. So <laughs> fortunately we didn't lose anything because they weren't, um, I wasn't recording when they turned up. But yeah, so we're going to continue with our China Blue PC1100 1100, and we just want to continue that over all our black areas. We may have to take some frequent breaks at the moment because my ankle's really causing issues and it's not happy with me and yeah, <sighs> not very fun at the minute. <sighs> But yeah, I'll do the best I can anyway to get this finished. Keep working on this. And we want to bring in blue colour there. I'm going to leave those ones for some shadows and just... I probably didn't necessarily... I think I'm just going to do that up there like shadow area just because of the fact that well, I sort of blended over those areas I just realized with other areas I actually sort of worked it in around the scales but we should probably do some scales down here as well but I'll bring that back in a minute so I'm gonna come back down here to this part now and just uh, add some Try to add some scales in. <sighs> or add some scales in around this top area with their shadows because we've got the shadow spot there. I'm just try and do some random ones that are out there. I just have to pause and adjust my position for a minute, so I'll be back. So hey everyone, I'm back. So I think, um, oh yeah, we're working on these little scale areas here. So I'm just gonna keep working on those for now, um, for a minute. And we're still using our China Blue. <sighs> we are. So 
I hope everyone else is going well anyway. I know it was Halloween, well yesterday here and Halloween in America today, so happy Halloween to everyone who's having Halloween today. Maybe I'm a bit late with the day, but <laughs> I do my best. Now we want to just bring in some little areas if we can, a shading to allow for blending of our next colour. I'm going to turn the volume down a bit quickly on the music. <sighs> I'm back. Just got to get my ankle and that up on the cushions again. Here we go. So now, what do we want to come in with next? Because we're on to our next colour. Yeah. So we're next going to come in with our Peacock Blue PC1027. And we want to just bring that colour in amidst all these darker areas. We do. bring that in all of those dark shadow areas. I may bring a little bit of light shading in if I can. I'll just see how it goes once I've got these bits done. I went too thick with the the line. Whoops. I'm just gonna bring in a china blue a little bit because I just want to bring it along sort of that spot. I don't think I had any in there, so yeah. And then we're going back to our peacock blue. Some of these may look a bit sort of out of place because we haven't done the other shadows over there, but we'll get to those once we've done our darker areas. So I don't want you getting confused if we can avoid it. bring some into these shadow areas I just want to do these little scales first and then we'll do this shadow bit and then we'll go on if we can bring in some little lighter bits to allow for blending the next color
don't know where the ants are coming from, but I just had an ant running over my book. And I'm not outside either. And then we want to bring this in over this black area. And I'm probably not going to worry about the, the lighter colour over this bit, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I use the lighter colour over it or not. And the other areas I don't... Uh, looks like I might have. Just want a little bit of sort of light areas where we can to allow for blending our final colour in there. Oh well. We will, we've still got all the rest of the tail to do, I guess, first. <laughs> I just realised that. Finding it a little hard to concentrate with my ankle the way it is at the minute. But I want to keep going. Okay, so we've done that little bit. Now we're going to go on to this next little area here. This position. Whoops, and I moved the whole camera, didn't I? Good one, me. Get those. Which there's another spot just here that I did forget. Didn't I? So hey everyone, sorry about that. I just had to take a bit of a break again and yeah, try and do this because my ankle is really bothering me right now. Um, I'm gonna hopefully try and push through and get this finished. I, whilst I was taking my break I actually downloaded what I had on the card with this one so if it does go a bit over it's okay we can go over. So I'm going to continue here with our Peacock Blue PC1027 and I'm hoping to just push through and continue to do this because I really want to do it and I really want to get it done and I'm loving doing it. I'm just I'm struggling with the way my ankle is right now and it's annoying me to no end so just bear with me and I will get there. I will I will get there.
don't think I actually used the china blue on those bits. So I'm just going to quickly add the china blue on those bits. And on here. There we go. Oh, that's better. And the shadows also come up here. So I'm just filling in the shadows and continuing. Well, filling in a bit of the shadows and continuing with their shading and that. adding a little bit of lighter areas in there so that we can blend it easier if we can get it to work <laughs> and then we want to bring that around these petals because we've done this spot I actually was recording coloring that little bit off camera so I just cut it out but pretty much it's finished and just done exactly the same way as I'm doing these ones But yeah, pretty much it's done exactly the same as uh, how I'm doing this little section now. Here it is. our peacock blue and then lastly last color we want to come in with is yeah our non photo blue PC 919 we just want to bring that over all those colors and there's one spot we just missed here with our previous color so yeah we just want to bring this over all of those areas with the scales another spot so I'm just just filling any spots you've missed as you go kind of thing I think I coloured over those other darker areas in the other ones. It sort of looks like it with the way they've sort of blended in, but I'm not. I don't know, maybe I didn't, I don't know. But I might go back and just go over those spots and add in that non photo blue over them because I think it's kind of blending in the shadows a bit better. So I'm just going to stop for a minute because I want to order, correct the, the other shadowy areas and I will be back very soon to continue with these bits of the snake. So I'm back. I accidentally, whilst correcting those other ones, I went over a little bit into some of the areas with the blue by accident into the little leafy bits, but I guess as we usually do, we'll just cover it up. Once we get to colouring in those areas. 
there's always a chance that you're gonna go slightly over the line in some areas. Depends as to how, but it always seems to happen somehow. I think the second snake did have the the non-photo blue over the black areas though, but the first didn't, but I just did both anyway just to be safe. Just like I'm going over it still. <laughs> And that's that colour mix done. So I think um, 
Yeah, I might try and just keep going a bit with it and then see how we go as to where we get to. Uh, I sort of am considering stopping just because of the way my ankle is for a minute, but I'll keep going because I need something to do. So yeah, we're gonna come back in with our Peacock Green, Peacock Blue PC1027. And we wanna just, all these um, white, white areas, we wanna bring Peacock Blue into. So this is the start of our lighter shades of, on the snake. I thought since I've done ones with the showing properly how I do the pink, I might as well at least do one showing properly how I do the blue one. And I might as well try and finish it all in in one lot so that you can see exactly how, how she's done. How she, he, it. <laughs> Whichever is done. Yeah, phew, we're just in the camera frame. I thought I might have cut it out of the frame again. These snakes take me a very long time to do, as you're probably noticing. But it does take longer when you have to keep resting. And I mean by that in the way of like if you're in pain or something like that. quite like how it's turning out like I don't know if it kind of looks a bit at the moment it kind of looks a bit different to some of the others but I guess it'll look similar once we get the the light colors in I guess it will so you can see that. Yeah. 
Here we go. That's better. Now we don't want to add, just if we can add a little bit of a light shadow in area in there without trying to take up too much space, just a chintzy bit if we can, if it'll work in that spot, if it's taking up too much space like some of those spots are done, well, yeah, not much we can do about that, but we just want to try and get the blending and stuff working well in those areas if we can without with plus still having room for the for the next colors so there may be some areas that I just leave because they're too small or yeah which I just took up a lot of those spots there that I need to still fit two more colors in and I don't think I worry about it too much with the shading in the other ones, if I remember correctly now. I don't think I do. So I think I'm just going to leave the rest without that shading because it's taking up a lot of space that I don't want to take up right now. It is. And yeah, I probably shouldn't have done it because it's taking up space that I want to be able to see through and or see the other colours in and now those ones you may not be able to see much of the other colours but we'll have to see. I guess. So we're going to come in with the non-photo blue PC919 next and we're not going to worry about little shading areas like I've been trying to do with the other one because it just seems like this one is very sort of one toned a bit it looks it looks kind of different to the others it does it's just looking at that some of the colors have started rubbing off a bit with the coloring of this so I need to go over and probably recorrect some of them a bit I probably do but yeah so we're just going to come in with our non-photo blue and do that and I'll probably try and make some corrections off camera Unfortunately this is filling in those areas doing this. And 
and I think I'm just gonna finish off this part and then I'll do the rest next time because my ankle's bothering me and so I'll probably try and do a cont continuation of how to finish this this little bit of the snake with the next part just because I need to stop for now because I just yeah I just need to stop for now so I'm just going to do show you how to do this last little bit of color here and then the last little tendril bits of the snake for these parts I will probably do those bits off camera and then I'll show you how to do the belly on camera next time how to do the pink belly for this snake when I'm on camera next time so but I'm sorry I just have to stop right now but I'm going to finish these little bits of scales first so we're going to come in with a Caribbean C PC 1103 and we just want to finish coloring that over all these areas here to finish off that color mix and we're not worrying about going into the dark areas either we're just sticking with the light areas Just filling those in with over all of them with this colour. Lastly what we want to do is come in with the grass green and just over all these scales we just want to do a line of grass green around close to the black just to bring in a bit of that green sort of tone into the scales. We're not blending it, not doing any of that, we're just bringing in a bit of grass green. Even on the darker scales so it's on both types. I think that's it. I don't think it's on the shadow areas. I don't think it is. I was just trying to look. So hopefully my head didn't get in the way then when I was trying to look. And I'm going to leave it at that for now. I may just bring in, finish the rest of these parts next time, I think. So I was talking about doing some of these parts off camera, but I think I'll just do it next time. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe and comment. And I'm sorry to have to take off and leave it not finished. But yeah, it's just what I need to do right now. And so I really hope you've enjoyed this. And I will see you next time. Bye.